Hey guys and girls, my name's The Gaming Tech. Welcome on into the channel. We're going to be taking another look at Dyson Sphere program. I played this when it first came out because I was doing a lot of satisfactory stuff like that, and this came out. Played it quite a bit when it first came out and just got taken away by other games, stuff like that. But now recently there was a, a new patch for the game called Rise of the Dark Fog which is introducing like a, an alien life form that's uh, basically our direct competition. So we will take a look and see how the game plays now. So let's just jump in. We'll have to select a new game. Right, okay, so we'll have a look for something a little bit better. Okay, we've got this one here. It's got a good mix of everything there. So let's make it a little bit harder for ourselves. Maybe drop the resources down by half. Let's go into Dark Fog Sense. Maybe do max density 2. Initial level. Let's leave them. In fact, let's do the level one. Uh, do everything the same. We'll leave the advisor tutorial tips because I've not played this yet. I'm hoping that that could maybe get turned off as we go. Let's apply that. Let's start the game. The unknown. Created in exploration, the seed evolves in iteration. From zero, transforming into infinity and beyond, it spreads and becomes the shadow of the galaxy. The stars dim. You will embark on a new journey. That's pretty cool. Welcome to the real universe. Very soon, You'll find this place different from our homeland. But you should be able to adapt to the laws of physics here in no time. I'm your advisor. I will assist you in completing this mission. Everything here belongs to you. As a member of the Cosmo, a pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster from ground zero. Make use of the resources available here to build a Dyson Sphere that supplies energy to the center brain to maintain homeland simulation. I've chosen a planet for the mission, and there are essential resources for the initial development. Now, please pilot the space capsule toward this planet. Cool. All right, okay, so we have got control. There's a structure already on this planet. I wonder if that's the dark fog that's on there. Let's see if we can go around to the Unknown sunny side. Unknown signals detected. 
extracting feature variables, comparing with database. Those are highly likely anomalous mechanical bodies from the Mechanic Energy Program. Engineers call them dark fog. Dark fog is extremely sensitive to EM signals under a regular pattern, so they may launch an assault on us. To stay low profile, we will land on the other side of this planet. Oh, good, okay. This is Icarus, a very powerful but lightweight industrial mecha. Use the direction keys or click the right mouse button on the ground to move the mecha. In this mission, you'll control your mecha to navigate the universe and create miracles. Right, okay, that's good. So now please try to disassemble the space capsule. Click the right mouse button to proceed. To collect resources like wood or gravel, click the right mouse button as well. In addition, you can hold shift and click the right mouse button on each of your targets to give a series of commands. Some items are found after disassembling the space capsule. Click on the inventory button at the bottom right corner of the screen to open and check. Well, might as well just grab a few bits and bobs. I think what I'll maybe do is obviously with it being the tutorial, it's gonna be a little bit slow in getting going. So what I'll maybe you do can is skip ahead to rotate the camera. Maybe a bit an hour, the mouse an hour or so. In and out. That should get me settled, I think. Maybe less. Maybe start getting a, a base down and then I'll I'll jump on back on the video. So I'll uh, see you in a, a few minutes or so. Right, okay, so that's been probably just over an hour. And this is what we've come up with so far. We have... Uh, like a coal mine going on, we have a copper mine, and we have an ore mine, and we've got a stone mine as well. So we've got them coming into different storage boxes, uh, storing them there. To be fair, I don't know why I've done that, but we've done that as a, like a buffer sort of thing. Obviously as we upgrade belts and stuff that'll get faster. Uh, currently down here we have something building the uh, steel plates. I think it's steel plates. What are they calling them? Let's have a look. Iron ingots and copper ingots. What they're getting made at the moment. We're just about to build up uh, a stone block machine as well. So let's see if we can finish that off. So the belts are pretty simple to put down. Then we need to put in the sorter from the belt into the machine. Then we want to have storage for that. Then we need a sorter going from the sto uh, from the smelter to the storage. So now we are gathering metal blocks. You can see there, we're starting to get a few bits of materials. I tell you what, let's grab a few hundred of them. Certainly starting to come in handy. So it's starting to come together a little bit. Obviously, we've got some wind turbines generating our power for us. Uh, currently generating 1.5 megawatts. See, it's consumption demand is two. So we're almost inefficient. So let's make some more wind turbines. Uh, 
got four of them getting made there. So the good thing is, at the moment, until we get machines making everything for us, we can make it on our, on our own person, which is pretty good. So we don't have to rely on the machines at the beginning. So we can at least get some stuff done. Once they're down... I've got four uh, wind turbines. Unlocked the ability to terraform yet. got some more power. Oh yeah, so we're 100% uh, efficient. So it's just a little bit like satisfactory and stuff, you've got to balance everything. Obviously we're on sort of... Uh, it's annoying when uh, you see the grids sort of mismatching like that, it makes everything a bit of a mess down here. It's annoying. <laughs> that's, uh, that's annoying me. But this is just a little starter factory, we don't need to worry too much. I'll tell you what, I'll take some of them as well. So we're starting to get a little bit of a production going, which is good. Uh, now, we need to... Oh, we've got upgrades that we can possibly... I see that needs uh, different stuff. I don't think, yeah, that's all. Needing the red stuff and the blue stuff. So we can't do any upgrades until we're producing some of that. But now we can do that, meta core, give ourselves some better energy. So that's getting done automatically because we've got that stuff in stock, which is good. Now I don't know if we can do more than one, not yet. Actually, let's have a look at our technologies that we need to be doing. So let's put that in the queue. So that's up next. Right, okay, so that's getting done. That's getting done. Right, so now we need to take that stuff from there and we need to be able to bring it down somewhere. Oh, what? What? Dark Swarm is launching an assault. Uh oh. Where now do we defend against it? Three units incoming. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Warning A dark fog planetary base has launched an attack. Uh -oh. Icarus is equipped with laser weapon module, which can automatically strike enemies within its range. Faster mecha power generation means a faster rate of fire. Fill the chamber with fuels and get ready to engage. How how do how do I fill it with fuel? 
I'm only. But I hate to shit. Activate. How do I shoot? It's not actually telling me how to attack. That is not helping me one little bit. After unlocking the weapon system, you can load various types of ammo. So I've not unlocked anything. All right, okay. That is why. Okay. Weapon system. I see, I need the blue stuff. So I can't actually do anything until I get the blue stuff. Oh my word. Okay. Well, what happened there? Laser weapon module. Consumes Mecha's core energy for charging. More advanced fuel can increase the fuel chamber's power and the rate of fire of laser weapon module. Right, maybe I never had enough power. Right, okay. Okay, so at least uh, we had that now. There, use that as fuel, which is good. Got plenty of fuel. So we need to unlock that. Right. Okay, let's see if we can get the research done for that blue cube. Uh, that's what we need. We need ten of them. And then we're needing ten of these guys as well. Right, that'll get that going. So consume that. Wow, okay. So let's see if I can produce glass as well. What? Not enough of them. Oh my word. Right, now we can produce that. Uh, or get ready to produce that. Uh, Get some of these as well.
Wait, let's get this made. Hopefully that's going to supply enough to make this, because that needs stone, so it needs two stone. We'll see what it does. Hopefully the conveyor can keep up with it. Who's that getting on anyway? That's doing alright. Make that too big a gap. That will annoy me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now what I can do here actually is we could do magnets off of this as well. Probably pushing our luck, we'll see see what happens. Let's build one of them. Oh, wrong button. One or that, no. Do it that way, right. Logistics. There, into there. You. Magnet. It's quite good because it tells you what they can, they can all do. Basically, we're making everything we can at the moment. Now, I wonder, that's starting to struggle, let's try something, so, cross that off, that's fine. Supply more. Well, there we go. Hey, okay, that's got to be the same with that as well, isn't it? Right, let's change the design of this a little bit. Just 
struggling to supply. So it's putting out a lot more than what I need. Good. Okay. So it looks like they're all getting supplied now. It's quite interesting. Right, okay guys and girls, I think that possibly could do us for this episode. See your little robot dude there. So obviously, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure making this video for you. Please do let me know in the comments what you think. Should we do some more of this? Anything you want me to look at? Uh, or... It'll probably take a little while to get ourselves up and running a little bit. Obviously we need to get into production and we'll certainly get that done hopefully in the next episode. So until then guys and girls, thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button, smash that subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the bell for the notifications, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, take care, stay safe and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.